ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! Those hateful words are from the mouth of a Tempe pastor preaching that God's word says that killing gay people is the only way to get rid of AIDS by Christmas. He says all gays are pedophiles. He says the biggest hypocrite in the world is the person who believes in the death penalty for murderers but not for homosexuals. Pastor Steven Anderson has agreed to join us tonight for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Pastor Anderson, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me on. Have you always hated gay people? Is it something your father taught you or is it something that you came to on your own? No, I haven't always. You know, I grew up in a Christian home, but it wasn't until I read the Bible cover to cover at age 17 that I discovered the truth of what the Bible really says because a lot of passages don't ever get preached from the pulpit because they're simply not popular. I have to be honest, when, when I heard your sermon, it sounded like the rantings of someone who was either a hate monger or a religious zealot. And I'm wondering, which are you? Well, I'm a religious zealot. And, you know, I love the Bible. I love God's word. I believe that the law of the Lord is perfect. And, you know, Leviticus 20:13 clearly says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And, you know, as a Christian, I believe the Bible and that's where I get my belief. Now, d doesn't the Ten Commandment, isn't the First Commandment, thou shalt not kill? No, the First Commandment is thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay, but it, um, it, of course, is thou shalt not kill a, one of the commandments? Yes, it is. But what you have to understand is that the Bible commands that certain people be put to death, not by me, not by Christians. It's obviously not my job or the job of any Christian to go out and kill anybody. And I've never taught anything like that. But rather that the government's job is to punish criminals and to execute those who've committed capital crimes. And according to the Bible, homosexuality is a capital crime and I didn't write the Bible. What if irony of irony is it turned out that you had a gay son or a gay daughter, would you want them dead as a way to cure AIDS? Well, that's just a fallacy that it just turns out that certain people are gay. That's just a lie because it's not random. It's, it's not something that's just gonna accidentally happen to one of my how, children. Wait, how do you think it happens then? Well, the Bible's real clear how it happens in Romans chapter 1. It talks about how God gives people over to a reprobate mind to do these filthy acts. So it, it has to do with them rejecting the Lord and rejecting Jesus Christ. And, 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 you know. and I'll ask again, Pastor, and I'm not trying to be argumentative, but I want to understand that you're a man of your word. If you had a gay son or a gay daughter, what would you do? Well, it's not going to happen. If I did, I would have nothing to do with them. That's like saying, well, what if your daughter, you know, grew up to be an axe murderer? What if your son grew up to be like Adolf Hitler? You know, what would you do then? I mean, it's just a silly question. Well, well as long as you bring up Adolf Hitler, he wanted to exterminate Jews and anyone who wasn't blonde hair and blue eyed who didn't fit into his vision of the way people should be. Isn't that in a way what you're preaching, that you want to get rid of anyone who isn't heterosexual? Absolutely not. I'm preaching the Bible, something that Adolf Hitler rejected. He taught evolution, which is why he wanted to execute what he considered to be inferior races. But you, I, do, I don't believe you in, would like to see anyone who's not heterosexual die, correct? Well, the Bible says that I'm asking, everyone... I'm who, asking what you believe. I believe the Bible. I believe what the Bible says. And if I didn't, then I wouldn't be a Baptist. I wouldn't be a Christian you know, if I didn't it, believe the Bible. It sounds like, because you won't answer what you believe, that you're, I, I, you're I did answer what I believe. I believe hiding behind the Bible. Hold on a second. I believe what the Bible says that homosexuals should be executed. Let me make myself clear. I believe that. And I've never gone back on that for one second. So every Christian believes the Bible so or anyone, else they're not even really a Christian. If you believe that, anyone who is not heterosexual should die, correct? Absolutely, of course. That's what the Bible says. You, you hate gay people. Yes. I'm Jewish. How do you feel about Jews? Oh, I don't hate Jews. I mean, that's just a straw man to try to compare me to Hitler. I don't hate Jews whatsoever. Blacks? Do you hate black people? Because of you course said not. You My church well, is filled with pray, black people. Did, did, did you say, Pastor, that you prayed for the death of Barack Obama? Oh, so, so now Obama and the race card comes out. My church is filled with black people. My church is filled with all races. In fact, the Bible says we're all of one Am blood. Am I misquoting you? Or did you say that you pray for the death of Barack Obama? Well, yes, I did, but Obama's white. Obama's not black anyway. He's half white and half black, so just as well as you can call him black, I'll call him white. He's a white man. Some would say that just as the Taliban and the ISIS fighters have perverted Islam and made it violent to fit their vision of the world, that that's what you're doing, is you're perverting Christianity to fit your vision of the world. Well, let the viewer read for themselves. Let them pull the Bible off their shelf and look up Leviticus 20, 13, 
and then let them be the judge. Intelligent people will listen to the entire sermon, aids the judgment of God, and will pull their Bible off their shelf and read Leviticus 20.13. Uh, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but did you say that if people perceive you as a, a hate monger or your church as a hate group, so be it? Absolutely. I don't care how people perceive me. They called Jesus Beelzebub. They nailed him to the cross. And Jesus said that they hated him because he testified of their works, that their works were evil. That's what I'm doing. That's why they hate me.